Let's get into uh, the Word of God, uh, whether you're catching us on Facebook or YouTube or directly uh, on our website, amen, let's uh, get into the Word of God on tonight, all right? Uh, text somebody you know and love, amen, and tell them that we are live on the air at this time for training in the Word on Wednesday. Father, we do thank you tonight. We bless your holy name. Thank you, God, for your love, kindness, and all your tender mercies. We praise your name. God, you are God. Beside you, there is no other. Have your way tonight in the name of Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We praise your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Speak to our hearts. Rebuke every interference and hindrance to the word of God going forth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33. Praise the Lord. And uh, we're going to start reading at uh, verse number five and verse number six. So if you have your Bibles, turn to Isaiah chapter 33 and uh, we'll read verses five and six. The Lord is exalted for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Isn't that wonderful? And the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Praise his name. The strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Amen. Remember, we're not talking about a scary fear. We're talking about a reverential fear and all of God, of who he is, what he does, praise the Lord, knowing that that respect and that love and honor for him is present every step of the way, praise God. So that uh, type of reverence, that type of awe, that type of respect will bring a man his treasure into your life, praise his name. Now let's go to Psalms chapter 75. Uh, Psalms chapter 75, and let's look at verses 6 and 7. Praise the Lord. It says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He putteth down one, and setteth up another. Praise the Lord. So promotion doesn't come, amen, from the east or from the west or from the south. But promotion, amen, comes from God, amen. We want to talk to you tonight about the secret to promotion, the fear of the Lord. Praise his name. The secret to you being promoted in any area of your life, whether it be in ministry, whether it be in business, whether it be a man in favor with what your cause is, what you're trying to do with your assignment, your God-given assignment. So many in the world system are seeking promotion in the wrong area. They're seeking the world's promotion. They're seeking man's promotion. But when God promotes you, nobody can change it. Praise the Lord. The Bible lets us know, amen, that it's God that promoteth, amen. He putteth up one and taketh down another, praise the Lord. And we see that promotion doesn't come from the east nor the west, nor from the south, but it's God who is the judge, amen, who setteth one down and puts another up, praise the Lord. We want God to elevate us in our lives, but the respect has to be there. The reverence has to be there. The awe of God, of who he, he is, not just what he is to you when he's doing something for you, but what has he already done? Praise the Lord. Uh, 
the allness of God, the respect of God, the reverence of God. It's all so very important, my friends. And when you reverence God, when you uh, uh, actually fear the Lord and respect God the way that he desires, not only will he bring his treasure into your life, you're going to be promoted. Praise the Lord. When others are standing still, you'll be on your way up. Praise God. When others are stuck, you'll be continuing elevation and more elevation will come into your life. Praise the Lord. So the secret to promotion, uh, we want to talk about God's promotion. Praise the Lord. See, when you get that great business, it's not by accident. Amen. When God opens doors and makes ways, he downloads kingdom ideas that bring wealth. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, you've got to have wealthy ideas before you can get your wealth. So that business, amen, that God gave you, nobody could give it to you. That's a promotion. Somewhere along the way, you've been meditating day and night. You've been praying. You've been uh, fasting. You've been staying before the Lord in reverence and respect, praise the Lord, and and in his on in allness of not only who he is, but what he has done and what he's going to do. You get promoted every time you turn around, praise the Lord. Every time, amen, you get new money and miracle money and blessings on top of blessings and favor on top of favor continue to flood your life. You're being promoted by God himself. See, John's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 10, the thief cometh not but to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. So you know it's not the enemy trying to cause you to pr be promoted. The enemy will try to cause you to be demoted. He'll take away. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and have it how? More abundantly. Praise the Lord. So when we look at the secret to promotion, the fear of the Lord, promotion is the act or fact of being raised in position or rank. It's spiritual promotion is elevation and advancement by God himself. Now, why would God promote you? Well, because you love God. And that's very, very important. You honor God and you respect him. Praise the Lord. All of those are wonderful, wonderful uh, 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 attributes. Praise God. But you fear the Lord. It's not a scary fear, as I said. It's a reverential fear. Amen. It's an awe of who he is and what he does. See, the ingredients for the fear of the Lord are found in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. The ingredients for the reverential fear of God. And I'm telling you, my friends, when you get this down in your spirit and you begin to see God as a loving, awesome, heavenly father, but he deserves reverence. He deserves your respect. He deserves your honor. He doesn't just deserve your praise and worship because many praise the Lord and worship the Lord and then go right out and disrespect him. It's an honor of God every step of the way. With every step you take, you're honoring God. You're respecting God. You're saying, God, I realize who you are. Uh, I'm not looking at you just as another somebody. You are my heavenly father. You're omnipotent. You're almighty. You're all powerful. You're omniscience. Uh, you know everything that is to know about everything. The God of all science. Praise the Lord. And you're omnipresent. You're everywhere present at the very same time. My God, can you imagine our gods in Japan and right here in Pensacola, Florida, all at the same time? He knows about where you are, what you need, praise the Lord, and what you desire. But when you fear him, he'll be right there to elevate you. He'll be right there to promote you. I'm talking about promotion on tonight. Praise the Lord. How can you be promotion, promoted? The secret to promotion, praise the Lord, the fear of the Lord. So many are looking uh, for promotion in the wrong places. I'm not looking for man's promotion, although God does use man to help you get into place. However, it's God himself that uh, uh, favors your life and anoints your life and blesses your life and ultimately elevates your life. Praise the Lord. But the fear of the Lord has to be there. 
Amen. You've got to make him priority. When the fear of the Lord is there and it's present, you're there. You're on duty. You say, God, what is your agenda? I'm here. I'm available. Praise the Lord. And if God don't say nothing, you just know God is pleased that you're there. You're right there. Amen. And saying, Lord, have your way in my soul. I am available to you. That's reverence. That's honor. That's respect of God. When something opens up, amen, and God is looking in the earth realm for a servant that said, Lord, send me. Are you going to be the one he chooses? Praise the Lord. See, you've got to, amen, and show him love, honor, and respect where you are before you can show him love, honor, and respect where you want to be. Praise the Lord. That's a word for somebody. So, amen, when you love and honor God, when you respect God, Amen. The fear of the Lord, amen, is present in your life. Promotion will flood your life. Praise the Lord. So now when we look at the ingredients of the fear of the Lord, that the power, love, and the sound mind, we can't do it on our own. Praise the Lord. We can't do it by ourselves. We need the Holy Ghost to help us. Uh, to help us do what? Have revelation. Praise the Lord. See, you got to have revelation of the fruit of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit. They all live in the fear of the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's a divine respect. Praise his holy name. Now, here's a few things the fear of the Lord consists of. I hope you're taking some notes. First of all, awesomeness. Praise God. See, you're, you're, you're about to have some awesome things uh, come up in your life. Who am I talking to tonight? Amen. The greater the storm, the more awesomeness the blessing will be in your life. The more awesomeness that will flood your life. The more awesome promotion that will invade your life. Heaven to earth government will invade your life right where you are. Amen. And those supernatural funds that pay off your debt, the supernatural healing in your body, all of it will take place. Amen. And it will find you. You don't have to search for it. You can rest in the Lord. Amen. You can wait patiently for God. You can uh, leave your work and enter into your rest and let God go to work on your situation. And before you know it, promotion is knocking at your door. Who am I talking to tonight? Praise the Lord. See, the greater the storm, the more awesomeness. You say, well, all of these situations and all of these uh, 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 problematic, no, don't look at the problem. Look at the fact that you have honor, respect, and the awe of God, the reverence of God. And so promotion is knocking at your door. Promotion is going to track you down like a bloodhound. You can't outrun the scent of it. Praise the Lord. It's coming your way. Praise God. See, reverence, these are some key words. Write these down if you're taking notes. Reverence, sovereignty, supreme, submission to the sevenfold anointing of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. When you reverence God, you don't just do anything. You reverence God. You honor God. You say, Lord, what do you say about this? What is your word? What are you saying about this direction? You trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Praise the Lord. In all your ways, you're acknowledging him and he will direct your path. Praise the Lord. So his sovereignty, his dominion, his power, his majesty, his supreme being, my God, the submission to the sevenfold anointing of the Holy Spirit. I don't have time tonight to get into all of that, but it's marvelous. See, it releases the fullness of God's holiness into your body and your soul and your spirit. You're a tripartite being, body, soul, and spirit. When you fear the Lord, he can't help but to promote you because your soul has come into alignment with the spirit of God, with the word of God, with the will of God, with the mind of God, praise the Lord, the way of God. Your, your, your soul has come into alignment with his ways, with his thoughts, not the world system, not your way, not the way you want it, not the way you think it is, but with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So you release the fullness of God's holiness into your whole being, your body, your soul, 
in your spirit. Praise the Lord. See, praise and praying in tongues and meditation are vehicles to get you to this higher scale in the spirit, which is the fear of the Lord. This is the highest realm in the spirit, the fear of the Lord. Because when you fear him, ain't nothing else can stop you. When you fear him, you're submitting to the Holy Ghost. When you fear him, praise, I feel my help. Praise God, I feel his presence. When you feel fear him, praise the Lord, amen, it's no longer your way, no longer your will, but it's God's way, God's will, praise the Lord, it's what God's agenda is. You seek his way, you seek his will, you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and you look for that promotion, you look for that Amen. Elevation. You look to be exalted in due time. He said he would lift you up. He would exalt you. Praise the Lord. I got news for you. <laughs> There's exaltation coming your way. Praise the Lord. There's elevation coming your way. There's promotion coming your way. Who am I talking to out there? Praise God. Amen. You've been laying before the Lord and, and seeking his face and you've been careful with what you say and your words are few and seasoned with grace and you, you've been seeking God's face and seeking his will and his way. God is pleased with you. Promotion is knocking at your door. <laughs> Praise God. See those vehicles that continue to take you, amen, into the fear of the Lord, into honor, into respect, into repentance. You repent quickly. You got the grace of God. You're in covenant when you have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart because you have been born again. Amen. You operate with a new level of this great grace. Don't frustrate the grace of God. Yield to him continually and he'll continue to promote you, continue to exalt you. That promotion you're looking at, you've just been dreaming about it. You don't have to worry about asking anybody. Just continue to fear the Lord. Continue to praise his holy name. Be in awe of who he is, all of his dominion, all of his power, all of his majesty. Praise the Lord. And you will soon see he'll load you down. See, the Bible tells you daily. <laughs> he loadeth us down daily with benefits. He'll load you down with more money. Praise the Lord. Who's that for? He'll heal your body. Praise the Lord. Who's that for? Amen. I'm talking, not, I'm not talking healing, but I'm talking just, not just healing, but health. Continue walking in health. Every day of your life, you're in health. You got your health back. Praise the Lord. You got your strength back. Amen. You got your energy back. <laughs> that is awesome. Amen. It's for you. God wants you to have it. Amen. You won't walk with burdens anymore. Whatever attacks you, amen, will not distract you because uh, you know who you are. You are the righteousness of God. You fear the Lord. You feel, fear his power. You fear his might. The anointing of God is something you respect. Praise God. When there's divine respect, my friends, there's no stopping your promotion in your life. Amen. But when people get careless with God, they throw their opinions at God. They throw their self at God. That's when you get demoted, not promoted. <laughs> I know that ain't none of y'all out there. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we want to understand how to not just have one promotion, but to be promoted over and over again. It's called the secret power, the fear of the Lord. Write that down. There is a secret power. And it's called the fear of the Lord. It's a secret power that gets you elevated. It's a secret power that get wealth and riches in your house. It's a secret power that get healing in your body and in your family's body. A peace of God that passes all understanding. You don't have to be anxious for nothing because you got peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Peace even in the midst of a storm. Praise the Lord. And that's God gracing you with peace, gracing you with his divine love, wrapping you in his goodness. He's a good, good God. Praise the Lord. So the secret power is the fear of the Lord. Now, releasing the full holiness of God in your life is what it's going to take. I hope you're taking notes. The fear of the Lord, the reverence of the Lord, 
Moses took his shoes off because he was on holy ground. Amen. Moses, amen. Uh, yeah, one time he took his shoes off. I'm not talking about uh, taking your shoes off literally. I'm talking about your steps. Praise God. Your steps got to be ordered by the Lord. Praise God. I'm talking about walking in power. Every step that produces manifestation. I'm talking about walking in the power of God. Every step you take, you go one notch higher. Praise the Lord. You take another step in his power, in his glory, in his goodness, in his favor. Every step you take, you got more favor. Who is that for? Every step you take forward, you go forward in more power today than you had yesterday. Praise God. Amen. See, I'm talking about every step in my life produces another manifestation. Every step you take in your life produces another manifestation. The steps of a good man, the steps of a good woman are what? Ordered by the Lord. Though you fall, you won't be utterly cast down because he does what? Uphold you in his hand. Praise the Lord. That's why Jesus never missed a step. He was always walking in power. Praise the Lord. Uh, Jesus walked in the fear of the Lord. Uh, Jesus reverenced the Father. Amen. Prayer is a vehicle into the supernatural. We see Jesus praying. Praise the Lord. See, you're moving to another scale now. You're moving to another level now when you recognize that this is your secret power to your promotion. Praise the Lord. Now, recognizing the awesomeness and the sovereignty and the reverence and goodness and sacrifice of God, praise the Lord, the spirit of a loving, honorable fear, which is in the realm of the spirit that many will never enjoy because they're doing, uh, they're focusing on the wrong thing. But when you get before God in honor and respect, you just don't go anywhere. You just don't do everything. You just don't say anything. Praise the Lord. You got a code that keeps you covered, that keeps you connected to God and his supreme will and sovereign grace. Amen. And that's the fear, the reverential fear of the Lord. I'm telling you, if you're hearing this message, let this sink into your heart. You're going to another level. Let this sink into your spirit. God's taking you above every storm. He's taking you above, praise the Lord, the world system, the places you couldn't go before. You're about to go now because you got the fear of the Lord operating mightily in your life. Somebody shout amen. That's for somebody out there. The place where you were stuck, you're not stuck anymore because now you're operating in the fear of the Lord. That reverential fear, unlock. it's a key. <laughs> it's a key that unlocks every door. It's a key that brings wealth and riches into your house. It's a key that lifts every burden. Praise the Lord. Opens the door to greater grace. It opens the door to floods of mercy, floods of blessings. Amen. Floods of peace in your life. It's a great key. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, this realm is a shock to the world system. Amen. Uh, see, the respect for God is not there in the world system. That's why there's so many struggles. That's why you see the world in a turmoil right now. Praise the Lord. Uh, the, it's a shock. They're not living in the reverence and respect of God. Praise the Lord. Many can just take him or leave him. But the day is coming where every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Praise the Lord that Jesus is Lord. Oh yeah, you say that with gumption. Oh yeah, you say that with power and authority. Because Jesus is Lord. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Praise the Lord. So I, I got to close my friends. And I sure appreciate your time. But we, we, we must not take God for granted. Don't ever take God for granted. Praise the Lord. Without the fear of the Lord, God is placed on a, a kind of a Santa Claus scale. And you know Santa Claus ain't real. Amen. People just uh, think he's just going to load you down with gifts and presents. No, no. Our God is to be reverenced. Our God is to be respected. Amen. Like I said, the ingredients 
in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. See, God ain't giving you no scary fear. No, no, the, he ain't giving you the, the, the fear that the enemy tries to give you. Amen. But he gave you power, love, and a sound mind. That's the ingredients, praise the Lord, of a God that gets you promoted, of a God that gets you blessed, praise the Lord, and a God that promotes you, praise God. So tonight we're talking about the secret to promotion, the fear of the Lord. Whatever promotion you're standing in need of, whatever promotion, praise the Lord, you're believing God for, just continue to stand in reverence. Continue to stand in awe of who he is and what he does. Continue to stand, amen, in respect of him, amen, in uh, uh, just absolute uh, uh, submission to who he is, his power, his authority, the fruit of the spirit, the gifts of the spirit. Praise the Lord. It will take hold of you, amen. The fruit will come alive. The power gifts will come forth. The vocal gifts will come forth. The revelation gifts will come forth. Why? Because you, you fear the Lord. You have a reverential fear. So he blesses you. He promotes you. He elevates you. Praise the Lord. Don't worry about what anybody thinks. Amen. You get past people. That is not important. What God feels about us is what is important. Are we reverencing God with our whole heart? Let's think about that. Amen. As I close. Amen. I wanted to drop this line on you and drop this word on you. If you're trying to be promoted, the promotion you seek and the promotion you desire is in the fear of the Lord. God's got great things in store for you, my friends. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this study on tonight. Thank you for this word you've downloaded and dropped into our hearts. Thank you, Lord, that we have now an understanding of for how to be promoted, how to be exalted. We know when we humble ourselves, we will be exalted. Praise the Lord. We thank you that when we fear the Lord, the, the, the key to our success, the key to our promotion, the key to our favor, the key to our wealth is the fear of the Lord. Let it sink into our heart tonight. I give you thanks and I give you praise for every listener for everyone that will benefit from this teaching. We love you with the love of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Remember, Jesus is Lord. And, that's, and you shout it. Shout it every morning. Jesus is Lord. Shout it through the day. Jesus is Lord. Praise God. That's reverential fear and honor for God. Praise God. Amen. So I got to go. I'm a little over my time, but we love you. Amen. Keep on praying for the ministry. Thank you, partners. Thank you, members for all that you're doing to help make it happen. We love you. God has great things in store for us. And remember, amen, that no matter what's going on, you keep walking by. Mm -hmm.